welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today we're going to be putting my Hot Wheels room back together after the flood. We had a water pipe break uh, back in December and pretty much messed up the whole room. We had to have it all redone. So I'm in the midst of putting it all back together. We're going to do it totally different this time. But I'm going to give you guys an insight on how, um, on how I do it and how a lot of other people do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some cars up on the wall. If you remember my other room, I had uh, 2,500 cars on one wall. And everybody wanted to know how I did it and if I used thumbtacks or nails or staples or whatever. And this is the best way I've done it. I've done this for, my goodness, 25, 30 years uh, as far back as I can remember. I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you got to do is go down to your local um, like Lowe's or Home Depot, one of them, and you pick up some paneling dividers. And this right here is a uh, paneling divider. I guess they use them for um, like shower walls, things like that. Really, really thin. I'll uh, let, you, let you see what it looks like there. Okay, it's got two sides that uh, you know you got an opening here and an opening here it's flat on the back and uh, you just staple it up to the wall so these come in eight foot strips I like to cut them in half into four foot strips so I get hey two out of each one and of course you don't want them too far down on the wall in case somebody wants to kick them uh, you never know what happens all right you got little kids that come over uh, you never know what's going to happen if you got them really low. So I put them about six inches away from the ceiling. That way you can get a card right in there uh, without bending the card up. And I bring them down to four foot and it goes to right about here and they're pretty much safe. Now I'm going to show you how to cut them. It's really, really easy. Mark them at four foot and uh, use a pair of uh, side cutters, dykes, wire cutters, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's really, really easy. We're going to mark them to four feet and right there. And all you got to do, get a pair of side cutters. You're going to make your mark, make your cut right there, make your cut right there. And bend it in half, make your cut right there, make a cut there, and there we go. We got two pieces four feet long. Figure out how many we're going to need, we're going to put them up with a staple gun. Let's do that. Alright, I'm going to put them on this wall here. Now, before, like I said, I had the whole wall with 18 feet. I had 2,500 cars. But right now, we're gonna, I think I only have like 5 feet uh, between here and here. And, yeah, that's what we got. We got 5 feet. So, the, we're going to find out where we're going to start. Make our line, um, actually, over here, we'll start here. Now, the distance between each one of these is 5 inches. Uh, that's with a normal Hot Wheel car. Uh, let me find, got to come up with a blister pack, right? Alright, so now we measured that it was 5 feet from here to here. And we are, well, I ended up putting a 5 feet, uh, 5 foot piece down here on the bottom already, which is going to help us keep everything straight and uh, and in line of course. Now I measured three feet from the floor which is going to give me approximately six inches at the top so we can get a card slid into it. Now we're going to start on this end and staple all the way over. Um, like I said I uh, ended up having to get my hand stapler rather than my electric stapler because the the end from uh, here to here is a little bit longer on my electric one so it uh, kept missing the edge 
uh, right here. So uh, my hand could use the work out anyway, you know, uh, us older guys with arthritis. So we're going to put this in here, slide it to the bottom, make sure everything is square, and put our first staple down the bottom. And then we're going to take our level and we will level it out. There we go. As we go up, so uh, there we are. And our bubble looks good. Bring it up again. Once we get the first one all lined up, it uh, goes a lot quicker. And there. And here. And at the top. There we go. So now, put a card in. I'm going to put the card in here, okay, and in there, keeps it nice and neat. I'm going to put this down, I'm going to find our bad cut. Remember we had a little rough edge when we cut these with the, with the side cutters. And put that in there, bring it down to the bottom, and let's measure it for the heck of it. And from the edge to the edge is uh, 4 and 5 eighths. So I'll move it out to like 4 and 3 quarter. That will give us a little bit of room. Uh, so that's what we'll do. We'll run them at 4 and 3 quarter. Then we can run them all the way through without having to put the card in there. Alright, so now we need 4 and 3 quarter at the top. And we'll be all set. So, go from our good side. Let's do it this way. Bring the card up. And, you know what I think we should do? We should make a template. Let's make a template that is, same thing, we can put it right up there, and we'll hold it. Alright, I made a template and uh, I kind of figured out at the same time why my electric staple gun didn't work on, uh, on the slides. And I went to make a template out of one of my older slides that I got when I did the room originally, maybe, what, 10, 15 years ago. And I noticed that, see how one side is longer than the other here? And uh, the new ones are not. So that is what happened. Um, that's why the, the gun won't grab enough on this side. So when you're going to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you're going to go to get your paneling dividers, make sure, uh, I mean if you can get the ones that are wider on one side than the other, yeah, do it up because uh, then you can use your electric staple gun. But this one uh, isn't. So here is our, uh, uh, our template. Now I cut it, I got a notch on this side and a notch on that side and I'm going to put it inside our, uh, our strips and uh, be a lot easier to hold it that way and every one of them is going to be the same size and I don't have to worry about it being um, you know, different sizes. So let's do that. Slide it right in there. There we go. And that's all we got to do. Bring her up. Nothing's going to bend. And well, upset me. And they're all going to be the same. And 
there we go. Now let's see how well our card slides in there. Look at that, huh? Whoop! Got to make sure you put it right down in the bottom track. And there it is. That's as easy as it is, man. I've been doing this for 20 years. And uh, I see a lot of people out there doing it. Cool. Hey, uh, I know I should have patented it, but, you know. Uh, but that's the cool thing about what we do. Pass on all the cool information. Help everybody out. So uh, everybody can uh, enjoy the hobby uh, as, as we all do. So now we're going to take every one of them, go all the way across, and go be on set. So let's do that. And pretty soon we'll be able to fill this thing up with some blister cards. Um, I don't know if we're going to put blue cards in here. I don't know if we're going to put some uh, uh, workhorses or you know some of the early unnumbered stuff. Uh, we're going to have to see. The room's been telling me what it wants to do. Uh, I have changed this room I don't know how many times since I started. And uh, hopefully um, it's going to get completed pretty soon. It has to get completed pretty soon. It has to get completed by Thursday because um, History Channel is going to be here filming uh, as they did when we were in Dallas. And um, they're going to Walker's house on Tuesday, my house on Thursday. And you guys will get to see it all on the History Channel in July during Car Week. So stay tuned for that. So let's finish up putting the wall together, okay? I gotta make sure that we got them level still. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right on. <laughs> I love it. What happens when you make a tool? Love making tools. Make yourself a tool, it's always going to be the same thing. Cool. Cool tool. straight and square. Now you might have noticed that I put the staples on the inside on this side instead of out here that way you're not going to see them once we put the uh, the cards in. And I also have an extra piece down here. I um, wasn't thinking I got so excited about getting this done and uh, showing you guys. Um, I needed to actually uh, measure it a little bit more carefully but like I said I got excited. So I put a staple down here and I'm going to cut it and be all set. So this is how you put up your wall. This is how you uh, staple everything and slide your cars up and in. Oh, <laughs> make sure they go in the bottom. So that is basically it. You know, whatever, um, whatever you're going to do might be a little bit different, but you know, this is, this is what I, uh, this is what I end up having and having to do. So uh, this, the gauge is good. Always make sure you got something cool like that to go with you. Um, that way you got everything even. You don't have to worry about squeezing a card or anything like that. Like, anything like that. This is plastic. So uh, put everything up tight and you're all set. So uh, that's it for the wall. In a little while we're going to do some more stuff and uh, maybe we'll put some cards in the wall. So stick around. Alright, now we're back for day two. I got all of this up on the wall and I'm going to show you, well, you can see I got a couple couple pieces already slid into the sliders. I'm going to show you the rest that I got done. 
uh, why I said day two because it's an awful lot of awful lot of work here so you can see that I got the wall done on the other side and I had to go through all of my boxes from when we took everything off of the other wall and sort them all out and of course I've been saving things over the years that weren't on the wall because I had no room so, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to start loading up the wall with uh, the blue cards starting from number one and see how far we can get with the variations that we have so let's get to it alright so we got the number fours here and uh, of course they're going to go after number three I'm going to get my my better glasses on so I can see the dates on the cards now remember a lot of these cards well, actually all the cards have different dates on them uh, this one 1990 this one is 1989 and of course that's the one that has the uh, speed points in the package 1990 has speed points on the package so the 1989 card is going to go first slide it right down in there nice nice it fits and there you go two pieces for the wall we're going to put up uh, number five and uh, I don't know if many of you know it or not but the blue card number five came with a large window in the back and then it ended up having a small window in the back so keep your eyes out for that if you didn't know about it already so let's pop these babies in there of course the large window is going to go first then a small window and these all have basic wheels on them and the next one up going to be a small window with basic wheels but the tampos are much darker in the red blue card with five spoke blue and white card with five spoke with bright red tampos and blue and white five spoke with dark red tampos I'm sorry no it's got the uh, the double stamp blue the blue is much larger in the in the uh, tampos and the ten spoke and the tri blade and that's number one number two number three number four number five we're filling the thing up real quick um, which leads me to I'm definitely going to do another blue card book collector numbers uh, 1 to 274 so uh, keep your eyes out for that of course I'm going to tell everybody when that's going to be released working on it now um, so we're going from there let's put some more up and I really don't know how many are there we're gonna to have to count them up now we're gonna to go to the other side and it's been pretty much all day putting these up having to wipe them down and get them all in order the way they were released and of course their collector numbers so uh, hope you like it <laughs> 